Okay, we're going to be compounding a amlodipine oral suspension. This video is for 35 mLs. You are not compounding 35 mLs, so don't go by the numbers you see in the video. I've cleaned my balance and I've also cleaned my work surface, leveled my balance and verified its calibration. Now I'm going to first calibrate a prescription bottle. Now the amber bottle that you see here does have markings on it. Those markings are estimated. They're good for dispensing products, but they are not appropriate when we are compounding a product to a final volume. So we can't use those markings. <clears throat> so we need to calibrate that bottle to, for my prescription here, 35 mLs. So how am I gonna do that? I'm going to get purified water. I'm gonna put it into a graduated cylinder. That graduated cylinder will act as my appropriate measuring device. What I like to do is to get very close to my number 35 and then I get a small oral syringe. I fill that with water and then I'm going to basically drop the water down to get it to the exact amount of 35 mLs. Now there's two ways to do this. You can go down to the level like I am at the level of the bench and get it to the 35 mLs. But if your graduated cylinder does have markings that go 90% around, you'll see you got the numbers 50, 40, 30, 20, all those lines that are white they go all the way around 90 percent of the diameter you can hold that up to your eye level and you hold it so that those lines are directly parallel with each other at your eyesight that means you're holding the graduated cylinder level and you can measure it that way once that's done i'm going to transfer it into my bottle and now this is where i know i've measured 35 mls in the graduated cylinder but what about the liquid that's remaining inside of the graduated cylinder. Well, this says TD on it, which means to dispense. So those little amounts of water are part of the calibrated of the graduated cylinder. So I know I dispensed 35 mLs and that's what it's appropriate for. So it dispensed 35 mLs and it accounts for that water. So I'm going to make a mark on my bottle where my 35 mL mark is. Again, you are not measuring 35 mLs in your lab, but this is for a demonstration. And then you can discard of that water appropriately. So next, what I'm going to do is get my drug, and I need 35 milligrams of amlodipine. How am I going to get that? I'm going to use the source of the drug as amlodipine tablets. These are 10 milligram tablets. So how am I going to get 35 milligrams? Well, if I take one tablet, I've got 10 milligrams. Two tablets, I got 20. Three, I got four, 30, sorry. And now I need 35. So I can split that tablet in half and I can get that, but that's a little less appropriate. What I'm going to do is actually put four tablets, which contains 40 milligrams of drug, and I'm going to weigh all four of those tablets. So there's one, two, three, and four tablets. And those four tablets together weigh 831 milligrams. Now I know in that 831 milligrams is my 40 milligrams of drug. But I only want 35. So I'm going to take an individual tablet, put it in my mortar and pestle. I'm going to crush it slightly and triturate it. I'm going to add the next one and do the same thing. I'm going to add the next one and do the same thing. So now i got four tablets. They have a total powder weight of 831 milligrams. Once I've triturated those down to a nice fine powder, now I'm going to take that powder and I'm going to weigh out an amount that will give me my 35 milligrams. So this contains 40 milligrams of drug. Remember that whole amount of powder. I want 35 milligrams of drug. So I'm going to weigh out 727 milligrams. Why? You can see the ratio there. 831 is 40. How many milligrams will contain my 35? So I'm going to weigh out from those four crushed tablets, an amount of powder that contains my 35 milligrams of drug. And in this case, when I am done measuring that out, I'm gonna have some excess in my mortar and pestle. So here's the finished amount that contains 35 milligrams. My mortar and pestle has the excess, I'm gonna discard that. So that's essentially the remaining five milligrams of amlodipine that I wanna discard. Your facilitator will tell you how to dispose of that appropriately at your facility. Once you're done disposing it, I can clean out my mortar and pestle, and now I can add in my amount of powder that contains my 35 milligrams of amlodipine. Now I want to make it a suspension, so I'm going to be dealing with liquid, so we need to have eye protection. So make sure you have eye protection. Glasses will count for our lab as eye protection, but you can still use goggles or appropriate nature over them if needed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look for our suspending agent that you have in the lab. You're going to shake well because it's a thixotropic vehicle. So we're going to shake it well, and you might as well shake it one more time for extra luck. 
And then we're going to use either an oral syringe or a graduated cylinder to measure out half of the volume you need. So I'm measuring mine, 17.5 mLs. So what we're doing here is we are adding a small amount of that suspending vehicle. You don't want to add all of it because the particles will start to float and you're not going to be able to levigate them. So I'm levigating them. Remember, I'm making them into a paste with a liquid that doesn't dissolve them. So notice that I'm making it into this paste. I'm trying to get rid of those big chunks. Once I've got it nice and smooth paste, I'm going to add a little more of the suspending agent, a little bit more. And I'm going to incrementally add that suspending agent until that whole volume, which is 50% of the volume I need in my final compounded preparation into there. Next, I'm going to take my calibrated bottle that is now dry. I'm going to transfer my powder that's been levigated with that suspending agent in. You may have a rubber spatula. You may not. You can use whatever spatula is appropriate for you to get the most out. Now, you're going to have some remaining amount on your glass mortar and pestle like I have. We're going to show you how to deal with that. Keep in mind that we, we're not up to the line yet, right? We only got half of the liquid in there that we need. So the next is going to be our flavoring vehicle. The flavoring vehicle is going to be the remaining volume. Now I'm going to remove a volume that I know is much less than what I need. So I'm measuring here about 7 mLs. I know 7 mLs is going to be a lot less than what I need. I'm going to put a little bit into my mortar and pestle, and I'm going to rinse it out. So I'm trying to get all that excess suspending agent and powder off of the sides and put that into the liquid. I'm going to transfer that again into my calibrated bottle and I can use uh, the rubber spatula as well to clean off those sides. I'm trying to get as much of the drug out of that mortar and pestle as possible. If you want to be extra diligent, you can use a little more of that flavoring vehicle and you can rinse it out. You can, again, transfer as much as you can into the bottle. Now, once you've done that, you're at a point where your bottle is still below the line of your calibrated mark that you want. So you want a QS now with, again, that flavoring vehicle, right? Because we only added a little bit in there to rinse. Now the remaining amount, we don't know how much we're using. I have no idea how much I'm using, but I know I'm using it enough to get me to that line that I calibrated. So there's my line. I'm putting the syringe in. You can't see it in the camera, but I'm putting it in and I'm adding that volume until I get to my calibrated line. When I get to my calibrated line, I'm all set. I can put my cap on. And again, we're going to shake well. And once we've shaken it well, we're going to look at our suspension by opening it up and look at a quality assessment analysis of it. And we can see that here we have a nice suspension. It's free flowing out of the bottle and there's no chunks. There's no big particles floating. It's a nice uniform looking suspension. Perfect for dispensing.